Welcome back everyone and today we're doing a podcast and today I have a new person and a new way of recording. Um, so, aren't you going to introduce yourself? What's up guys, I'm Frame Perfect. Yeah, and today we are talking about... Ta-da! I'll have today. special effects. Um, he was telling me before we started... There was a, a a plot before the plot before they changed for the plot. Yes. Plot. Um. What he's talking about earlier, I was discussing with him that Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness's plot, which spoilers if you haven't played the game. Um. Even though you ha- old. Um. In this game, Colosseum is the first game. You battle Team Cipher, which is going around capturing Pokemon, stealing them, and turning them into Shadow Pokemon. Well, in this game, Team Cypher comes back, and there is a enemy. The the main guy who owns Cypher now, after you beat the captain in this game. The one in this one, Grievel was his name, um, is the main person who's controlling Cypher. But, that is not what was supposed to be for this game's plot. The plot of this game was... The main protagonist of this game, Wes, which is up there, used to be a part of Team Snagum, but he turned good. But his real intentions were supposed to be to enter to go with this plot is he wasn't trying to stop Shadow Pokemon. He was trying to take over Team Cypher himself. And you were supposed and you were supposed to take him down in this game. Was the original plot. He he took over Cypher, he was stealing Pokemon for himself, and he was supposed to be the one behind the X- XD-001 project. Okay, that would have been cool, because that would have made been cool. the ending of any Pokemon game the best one out there. It would have changed now, the whole system. It- it makes it makes me look different at Pokemon Coliseum, but because that plot never happened, Wes is a good guy. <laughs> He's a good guy. Well, he looks like an anti-hero, though. He 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 is because he started out being a part of Team Snack and with all the bald dudes. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, in the XD, they steal your snag arm, the snag machine. They steal it from you, and you have to go into their base to get it back. Um, those guys, um, he used to be part of them in the beginning of the game, and then he left them, but, um, yeah, so, that's what it was supposed to be, and it's very interesting when you look at it like that, because they, they, they stopped it because it was too dark, like, that was, well, that's why they didn't go with it, which, I can, I can understand. You had the whole Shadow Pokemon theme that were corrupted hearts and everything. And, um, yeah, the whole concept of it was rather dark because it was stealing people's Pokemon, turning them into Shadow Pokemon, and, what, making the protagonist of the first game the evil villain after all would have made it that much darker than it already is. Well, it's not like it wouldn't be the first time. They made something dark. Like Pokemon X and Y has a really dark plot because they talk about the Pokemon War and all Pokemon like Pokemon dying and stuff. Yeah. And um, X and Y. You sacrifice a, a Pokemon just to bring back one. And mm-hmm. creating the multiverse that So so it would have been like that it wasn't that dark compared to other games, but these games were out way before X and Y, so it had just, but, like, just thinking about it, like, what could have been is very interesting because the game would have been so much different. Like, things would have been played out so much yeah. differently. Like, like the uh, Grievel showing up when you battle the, Z- the Zangus in the beginning, the old man. Would have that been Wes there instead? Yeah, and, and you don't what, know if what it would have helped you in that 
at that what if, either. What if Wes played out like, hey, let's go stop these Shadow Pokemon? That's what could have been his disguise. Hey, hey, the protagonist is back from the first game. Let's stop the uh, Shadow Pokemon together. And maybe at the end you realize, oh crap. Well, Wes. Been... He could have shown up for a third game. Like, instead of using the. The, uh, using the idea of the first game and turned it into a third game. They could have very, they could very well do that if they make a third game. They could go with that plot. Maybe um, uh, my Michael from this game, the main character, could maybe be back and maybe a little older, or maybe his son. Because possibly? there has been concept darts of of him being older. I actually have yes. an image of it. I'll post it up when uh, on editing, but it actually looks pretty cool. So it, there is potential for an, another game. Oh, screen just went out. There we go. Um, there's potential, and I just want to see like car old care. I want to see Oria Town. I believe it's called Oria. Uh, um, the region. Oria. Oria. Region. Or Oria region. Orea, whatever yeah, it's pronounced. Something like that. I think it's or Oreo. O O R R E. Orea. Region. I want to see a return of that region, but at the end of XD, they mention well, close to the end when well, not really halfway through the game and Poke uh when you get the Poke stops, they mention while Pokemon are finally returning to this desert land. What if in the third game, you return to that and more life is there? It's not like a complete desert. Maybe it's still a desert, but there's still more greenery. It's more life. It's like, it's based off of Arizona. It is, it's already confirmed. It's based off of Arizona, the All region. Right. No. Um, and in Arizona, there are plenty of animals living just fine. So maybe it would be more like lively and time years have passed. Maybe some of the locations are completely different because in call in XD they took away locations because there's more locations in this game, but because time passed, well, no, they even out with the new ones in this because there's new ones in this that aren't. Oh. In this. Um. So yeah. So I guess it's the same, but. The reason why they're not there anymore is because they shut them down and stuff like that. Because if you go into Pyrite Town, where it has that catchy music where it's like snapping and yeah. stuff, the, or the orange one with the police officer and stuff like that, there's that bridge to the Coliseum. And if there's an old man talking near that big cavern, if you talk to me, he said, hey, there was a city down there at one point. But it's no longer that we that it was closed down because the owner of that of um, the radio station Net shut it down because he was the former member of that. Because Net was in this game when you could go down to that town in this game, that was one of the main locations to go down. You, I think you battle Suicune there, Sweet Shadow yeah. Suicune, oh. and. So, since there's differences like that, like places shutting down, they get rid of them. Um, maybe we might not see some of the same places. Or maybe they expanded, like that little store that's the train. What if in the third game, it's like some big shopping center or something like that. Or a bigger place, where there's like more train cars or something like that. Where it expands upon it, like, yeah. hey, this is what it is now. We've gotten bigger. Um, there's more to explore. Maybe they've expanded the region. Um... Of course, Team Cypher has to be the main guy. Someone has said that's why the Shadow well, Pokemon are coming back. But well, I'm just going on how the region... Uh, Pokemon started coming back. Wouldn't that mean the Pokemon League would eventually notice it? And because the yeah. evil team is gone, wouldn't it eventually join as one of the... Uh, as Wouldn't they create a new league there? That's what I was also thinking, like, gyms start showing up here, and then there's an Elite Four there now. But something kind of like the Elite Four-ish is the MT Battle, the 100 Battle area. You remember that? It's called MT Battle, and you go into it, and there's those giant discs with a number on them, and you go into yeah. each one, and there's a battle. That's kind of like it, cause after, and that's kind of like gyms, because if you play through that, each 10 is an area leader. 
and you battle the area leader. So that's what gyms are in this it, it game. It would have been if that did end up being the th uh, the third game. Michael should have been the one at the top or West. That would that would have been so cool if one of them were there. What if it's like a double battle? Yeah, I was let's yeah. say tag team with both of them. Um, what was I gonna say? What it, so? In this third game, I would think Empty Battle would be removed, and then Gyms would be added. As an extra thing, as a side thing, I think if they made a third game, Shadow Pokemon definitely. Not just this region, Shadow Pokemon have to come back. There's no and, doubt it should come back. And what if, mixed into that, what if Team Cypher is taking over all the Gyms? All the Gyms are taken over by Cypher. And you have to go into those, and they turn all the gyms into cipher bases, and you go in to infiltrate them, and knock them off each by one, reclaiming it, the gym yeah. leader goes back there, and then at the end of the game, you could just go get gym badges, like, reclaim it, so that's what something they're gonna probably do, and I think that'd be a neat idea if that's what they went about. I think there should be more greenery, though. Yeah. As so, well. For all the viewers, uh... Me and Frame have been friends for a long time, and I was talking to him uh, about a game I wanted to create. A third installment <laughs> towards the game. And one of the ideas I came up with was... There's two evil teams, but... In an organization, it's common in Japan. You have a big corporation, and then you have a corporation you don't even think they're connected at all. But... It's it's it, it's a face of a face. It's 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 a, a cover, a cover up towards the like yes, someone does come in, create the Pokemon League. But what about if that man was corrupted? Yeah, that yeah. Everything he's awesome. doing ends up being, and Wes could be the one doing it after all, if they add the plot. That's actually kind of what the plot of uh, Coliseum is. I know you haven't played it yet, so I won't go into it too much. Yeah. But um, that's kind of what the plot of this game was. There was a really higher up. Everyone thought he was good. He turned out to be extremely corrupted. This game did a better job of hiding the evil villain than this game. You didn't know who the evil guy was until the end of this game. You knew... In fairly... Barely, like this guy's a little off, so they they did really the well. The design they had was. I was about to say he looks evil. I mean, an old guy with two bodyguards that uh, that seem like they would kill you mm -hmm. gives it off. Definitely. They act nice, but they're not really. Well, yeah, they're a little like eh, because when you talk to them, they're all talking and like some weirds, like hey. If at MT Battle you may meet one of them and they're like, oh, I trained here so much to get powerful. But what was the real cause? It's the one with the this? green, greenish color, the turquoise. No, it's blue, is it? Blue and red. The well, guy yeah, that has it's blue and red, but the one you meet at that location is the is the greenish, bluish color one. Uh huh. Because I, uh, I, I played it, but that was a long time ago, and he had two copies, so he gave me one. So I started I playing did. it just like a few hours ago. And I, I, thought, I, thought I, lost, I thought I lost it, so I ended up getting a new copy, but then I recently stumbled upon it. Um, and then I was like, here. Because ever since uh, recently, this, they... Uh, he told me and his brother told me that they were the company was creating a, a new game for the Switch. Yes, uh, which sadly isn't going to be... It's going to be, uh, I think I'm pronouncing it correct, uh, Depomen, which is a very Japanese RPG. It's fun. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I'll put a not screenshot for anyone who doesn't know. I'll find it and put it on. Not, not, not because it's a bad game. It's because I want... I want Genius Sonorities to make a third game in the series, not a another Temple Mate game. It'd be like the fourth game in the series because there's three of them on, on the 3DS, like three or four. So the Switch one, will, like they can make like five of these games, but Game Freak can't let them make a third a third game. They w 
I mean, everyone loved the game. It, it was inspiring. It was different from all the other games you ever played. It was different. That's what was really and interesting about it. It was the first 3D, 3D. life-size. There was, of, of, of course, the first there, Pokemon were in 3D and uh, Pokemon Snap on 64 and Pokemon Stadium, which it had the 3D battling. Yeah. But Xeon Coliseum, Coliseum and Xeon, like, here's the game N64 and they're like way past it. They like skyrocketed with the how the game played. They see yeah, how the models are similar and stuff like that, but when I look at it, this was the first real 3D Pokemon game. Um where you go on this huge adventure capturing Pokemon, taking down evil organization. And it, and it was completely different because of one thing. Shadow Pokemon, you could steal those Pokemon. That, that's what was like crazy when I was younger when I first played the game back when I first got my GameCube was You could capture people's Pokemon <laughs> Yeah That was like I was like what you can steal all that I feel bad but they're evil Pokemon so I'm doing good doing it but it, It's such a great concept that I miss I know some fan games do have shadow Pokemon and I forget the name off the top of my head but there's this one I know that has Shadow Pokemon in it, and Mirror B is in it too. Um, hmm. I forget what off the top of my head though. Well, there is a ton out there. Um, <laughs> there's a few that have Shadow Pokemon. I know that because there's a decent amount. Well, I mean they have. I mean Mars Shadow came out, and he literally has Shadow in the name. Mm -hmm. And it was used as a shadow Pokemon for the Pokemon I Choose You movie. And for anyone who doesn't know, you can actually watch that movie on fr for free on the Pokemon TV app. So you can go watch it now co completely free and it'll, it's going to be there for how who knows how long. They eventually remove them, I think. Or update it to where you have to pay, but... I still need to see the movie. I haven't to make it a either. sequel... They're making a sequel, aren't they already? Are they're already in talks about a sec the second movie yeah. going so through? There were screenshots going around that they made Ash a female, but it was just a photoshopped image of Ash making him look like a girl. The art style um, is different. Everyone else is different. Could they add his at his dad? I doubt it. I I want him to make a sequel to Pokemon Origins for Generation Two. Remember the oh, yeah. one that went through the first game, Red was in it? The oh, animated series? Amazing. It was, and I want to make a, the, I want to see sequel where it goes through the second made, game. Yeah, that means he would have been made, back at Silver. What if they Silver. made a Pokemon Origin style movie and it went through Colise XD, Coliseum and XD? I think that would be cool oh, to see that, animated. That would, be, that would be a hit. Who doesn't Easily. Games? Oh, Easily. Easily. Cool. I've been wanting to buy a poster for it just to have it back here. Let's say the one of my favorite Pokemon games. I I can't stress it enough. The these are my favorite Pokemon games. Um, this also has a bonus disc. There's two oh, discs for this yeah, game. Yeah, I forgot. What, but wasn't that an exclusive version of the game too? No, it just. It was just a bonus disc. It is it's like it's almost fifty dollars for this bonus disc, and it's I not worth it. Did. All you all it does is give you Jirachi oh. in the game in Coliseum, and you get a preview of the Pokemon movie that introduced Jirachi in that one. Oh, Jirachi, uh, Jirachi Wish something, something like that. Um, it had a preview. Of that movie, and it was kind of like a thing for the movie, but I don't own the bonus disc. I, I'm gonna get it soon, hopefully. Um, oh, nice. But, uh, but even though you just get one Pokemon in a clip, yeah, no, nothing too crazy. Wait, but couldn't you attach your Game Boy Advance towards the to the games and transfer Pokemon? You can trade Pokemon. You can actually trade Pokemon to the game, and I think you trade them to. 
the Game Boy games. I think you could trade him to Pokemon. I know you could trade him to XD and Coliseum. I don't know if you could trade him to the Game Boy games. Because if so, that means you could transfer those, those games, Pokemon, Pokemon, these games, Pokemon, all the way up to this generation. Because you would have to go from Game Boy to DS by the merge mechanic. And then from the DS games to black and white. Black and white to Pokemon Bang. And then putting those into the newer generation Sun and Moon stuff. And that'd be cool because they'll tell you what game it caught it from or like who caught it. And what if and it, it'd be cool to transfer one of your Shadow Pokemon over and it says, hey, caught in this town from Pokemon XD. Gale of Darkness. I mean, if you transferred Shadow Lugia over, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be Shadow Lugia yet. Maybe no, it wouldn't. The only way you could transfer Pokemon, I think, if they were purified. And the weird thing about it is, Lugia has a moveset that he can't learn anywhere else. He has moves that he can't learn. Lugia can't learn. And I forget what moves in it they are. But there are exclusive moves Lugia can only know in those games. And they call it XD. And, if you trade a Mew over to the game, there's a certain trainer there that will teach it's a move tutor just for Mew. Mew. And there's three moves that Mew cannot learn in the any of the handhelds that he can learn in these games as well. So there's some crazy exclusive stuff in these games, like, po because Pokemon learning moves they normally can't is a pretty big deal, because they normally can't. And where else can they? These games. I wonder what... What other Pokemon got exclusive moves in these games that would have changed the 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 VCG version of the of the tournaments? That's what I was thinking as well. What Pokemon here maybe have a advantage with Shadow po with purified Shadow Pokemon or some buffs or something like that that might influence. So. But there's only 80 cap catchable Pokemon, and I don't know how many of them are actually. Competitive worthy. I mean, you don't even have, you have a professor, but he gives you like, like literally just a an iPad and not even a Pokedex. Yeah. It's like, where's my Pokedex? <laughs> Call um. Me Rogue. Um. Soon for these games, I kind of want to do shiny hunting for them because it, shiny hunting works a little differently. In these games, and I think it'd be kind of cool. Is it so, but so so in this game here, Coliseum, every Shadow Pokemon you encounter has a chance of being shiny. Um, but the bad thing about this game, <clears throat> excuse me, when the Pokemon goes to you, its ID changes because it's going from a trainer to trainer, so it won't be a Shadow, it won't be shiny when you capture it. But, do you know what that ID change means? When you capture a Pokemon and it's not shiny, it has a chance of being shiny after you capture it. So to shiny hunt in this game, you you save, you capture, you check, restart. Lugia. But no, that's, that's Coliseum. Now, they looked at that as a bug. So do you know what they did in this game? Every shadow Pokemon is shiny locked. They can't catch a single shiny like yeah. that. Do you know what shinies you can catch in this game? What? All, all wild Pokemon from the Pokestops, the all 12 of them, can be shiny. I tried the Pokestops. All 12 of them. I think there's uh, three per area. All 12 of them can be shiny. Your EV, you could soft reset the game till your EV is shiny. And in the game, you have these tra you have these training areas where you could do these virtual battles. And the Pokemon you use or fight has a chance of being shiny. So that's the shiny in this game. So this game is probably better to shiny hunt because it's very. I wouldn't mind a shiny Umbreon in XD though. Yeah, I want the color blue. I want my D. I wouldn't mind it either, but you have to keep resetting the game and checking your EV. Um, I've seen people reset the game like 3,000 times just to get a shiny. But you yeah, can get incredibly lucky. Patience. 
through, through, through both playthroughs of these games, the several playthroughs, I've never encountered a shiny before in those games. I've never, I've never, in any Pokemon game, I've never come across a shiny through a playthrough. Me I know too. people that, I, I know people that have. They were just battling wild Pokemon and a shiny appeared. Um, but these are the old games, so shiny, the shiny rates are higher, so they're like out of 8,000 or something. So if you so, so reset but uh, eight hundred times and that eight hundred time eight thousand times, I mean, you should get a shiny. Eight thousand so, times. It'll just take eight thousand resets, which is several hours of work. Yeah, I don't have that much uh, patience for any of that. I mean, it would be cool at the end. You could trade them for legendaries in the newer newer games after you did the whole transferring business. But it, doing that, I don't think it would be worth it. Even, mm -hmm. even though it would be easier, I think. Easier Definitely. than just fishing. I love doing the fishing method in Pokemon XD. I mean, not X, X and Y to get the shinies that way. Because it was easier. A lot easier. Never tried it. You never tried it? No. It it took me about like an hour to get a shiny in that game. I just gave easily. Up. I tried no, to get no, a no, shiny no. Gigala because I liked the color scheme for it. Could not get it. Oh, so, another cool thing about I turned it off. Um, another cool thing is um. Did I hear someone else talking for a second? I swear I heard someone say hello. Well, we are in a... We're not in a public chat. That's what I was saying. It is a private one. So. Did you did you hear it too? Yeah, kind of. I heard a hello. I was like, what was that? Anyways. Back to what I was saying. A cool thing about... X, uh, XD Gale, Darkness of Coliseum, the shiny color schemes in these games are actually completely different. They have so different colors. That, well, I don't think all of them are different, but some Pokemon have unique shiny color schemes in these games. So that's another cool thing to shiny hunt in these games. And shiny hunting is getting kind of big for these games, so... Start hunting... I might actually, live stream it. Yeah, live so streaming fun. that would be nice. Too bad actually live streaming it off your GameCube would be pretty hard when Elgato has removed the HD and AV version of the. I game. have a I have an adapter. I have an HD. I have an AV to HDMI adapter, so I won't have to worry about. It. That's what you need to get. It's it's. I bought mine for ten dollars on Amazon. Ten dollars. Which so, is? it's this little black box in... Hmm. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. It's cool. That it's cool. My coin. I finally found it. So, guys. Here is the... For anyone who missed the live stream yesterday, here's the coin I got from the Super Nintendo. Uh, you can't see it's not focusing all. It's a Super Nintendo uh, coin from the mystery and, box. And this is the oh, adapter I'm talking I, about. I've seen it. Yeah, I was actually it, gonna buy it. Ended up uh, canceling the order instead. It, it works just fine. It does its job. I paid 20 for it to get one day shipping. I was actually... I am... I'm, I'm talking to a few people, uh, mostly on Amazon. Tic Tac Toys to making... a custom playmat to be sold eventually. On Amazon? Yep. It's 14 bucks and you get a stitched edged 
a playmat. Same size everything. Used to be 17, but now it's actually way cheaper than usual for any custom playmat. Is, custom it, play is mat it gonna have your branding on it? Uh, the new branding, yes. Your, your nice logo one. The rainbow I'll colors keep, and stuff. Yeah, I'll keep my original one for the OG. For Heck yeah. But you got you you're gonna have this public one that people can buy potentially. Amazing. Yep. No signing, That's... no anything. It's just gonna be a clean, clean, amazing playmat. I'll make eventually I am thinking of making an XD Gale of Darkness themed playmat for for everyone. I would buy that, because that's what I was just thinking in my head right now. I would buy it. I'm making a pretty... I have the logo ready for it. I'm actually releasing it later, once I finish it. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's gonna be nice. I I'm think because those games bring back a lot of memories. Those were the first ever Pokemon games I did play. Mm -hmm. On console, because on handheld, the first one was Omega Ruby. Yeah. I didn't start. Uh, I started with XC Guild Darkness. Best game, I gotta say. I started with it too. I got Coliseum a lot later. It was the best so. game. Even, even though I had to wait until I met you just to borrow the game. But, um, well, now you own it at least. Um, you need to get Coliseum though, because it is just as good. Just as good. Yeah, better, games better in some price, way. So. Yeah, they're about $40. Both the games are around 40 40 to 50 for them. Um, when GameCube gets more harder to find and stuff like that. Um, with this game HD GameCube adapter now going around. Um, is it the built-in one? No, it's not built in anymore. If you have the, oh, the original, port, if you have the original model that has both ports, AV and component cable, do you have that one? No, has both I have parts the silver. The, the silver one. So the next, it, next version. So it just has the one port on the back. Yeah. There's an adapter for about a hundred bucks. You stick it in there, and then it has an HDMI cable, and it will upscale your games to 1080p, and they'll actually look HD. So, for anyone who doesn't know, I I know about this product. One of the YouTubers I watch called I, I don't really watch him recently. I I watch for the collection videos he does, uh, amazing collection videos. But um, it's called Metal Jesus. Yeah, Metal Jesus Rocks. I, yeah. I was thinking if that's who, who you were th good about to talk about. I was about because to mention too. I saw the video on it because I was looking for it. And just be careful because if you do move it when it's on or trip over it, it will s fry it. Fry no, your game. I'm talking about the new one though. There's a new one that took that out. So that's actually safer. It's oh. just, th there's two companies. There's that one small one you're talking about, but there's the new one. And it plugs in the AV and component port. It plugs into both of them. So apparently you're supposed to get a better picture, and it's really cool. And it's about a little over a hundred bucks. Th that's the thing. How are you gonna upscale the graphics on a game like XD Gale of Darkness? Because I was playing, and you could tell the complete difference. It, it does. Trust me. You, you would tell. It, it's like from. It's like. Like nine day, nine because their faces pieces. were pretty blurry back then, and they're blurry now. But they can up. Well, they can't. I don't think like they're t everything can get upscaled, but blocky two D textures are always gonna look blocky two D textures. But it will look like shiny blocky two D textures. <laughs> Actually, if they made a remake for this game, I would be on the pre order list. I'd be first in line to pick it up. I'd wait 30 days in front of a store and make a video every day. With bait. There you go. Uh, if because <laughs> it, it would be amazing because 
First, every everyone would love the game. Everyone who's ever played it. Mm -hmm. Be because we started with the game, and we enjoyed the game, so I know we we would both buy the game. For people who haven't played it, because I know a few people that they give them a chance to with this they, HD remake. They either don't own a GameCube. They they didn't get the game before Nintendo took away all the emulators from mm -hmm. MU Paradise. So the only way I could play it is because he sent me the copy <laughs> over. And now I own the original game, so it's legal now, okay? Legal. It's completely I, legal. I, I, on my channel, I have a, a randomizer of Pokemon Coliseum, and that can't be done on actual hardware. So you know I got the ROMs for these games. <laughs> yeah. I could play those games in HD all I want on my computer. But I want to do it on actual hardware. That's what I care about. But it wouldn't... By that box, wouldn't that create the price for the original ga GameCube higher? Wouldn't that... Yeah, see, I th that's what I'm afraid of. That's why I want to buy one soon. Because everyone's going to want the original GameCube because... now. Let me look on game. Let me look on eBay and see if prices are going up for them. If they're around thirty dollars, that's a normal price for a GameCube. Um, I remember the. Now what I'm worried about eBay scammers saying it's a Model One GameCube when it's really not. You know what I'm saying? Model Two, yeah. Because I I have returned items on ebay before or got my money back because they were reasonable people i t uh um but sometimes they're not too reasonable uh um but on that's the difference between ebay and amazon on amazon you have the a to z guaranteed you claim it you get your money back but it has to be legit because, well, or you won't get your money back. Sometimes you will. I haven't tried it. Just putting a stupid request. Because it, you find pretty cheap and new sealed products on Amazon all the time. You just have to talk to the right people. Um, on eBay, Isn't it's different. All the Indigo GameCubes have the poor crap. Do you think? Yes. Because that was the original color, wasn't it? I believe so. It was silver, then orange. Yeah, black. people are people are selling some of these for like. I'm seeing them for like sixty dollars. So for anyone watching, if you don't feel like trusting anyone from eBay, I wouldn't trust. Sometimes, um, I would say. Try to get the app called OfferUp or Let Go. Those you can type in GameCube, you'll find it, and you can go to their location, go to the location, and actually see the item. The one problem is you don't know if that person is gonna kill you and take your money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that's the problem I had. Um, I I'll just tell you. So I bought a camera at Walmart. Didn't work. Um, they didn't, they, I didn't, I didn't know when they bought it, so, it, it was graduation gift, so, the, the one week return policy was already gone by the time I even opened it, so, they didn't want to get my money back, they said, oh, just contact Nikon, Nikon didn't do anything about it either, they said, reset the settings, I did, it's still broken, uh, they didn't get my money back, and now I'm trying to stiff people online, so, just, <laughs> I recommend, if you see mine, Roll forward, or the black GameCube can have it too. Black one? Was it, yes. Wasn't there a special edition Gale of Darkness one too? And the silver ones can have it. It was the later silver ones that don't. So I see some black ones still for. I think the Indigo ones are just more expensive. I still see. I think Indigo would be more expensive just because that's the iconic color i still see some for about thirty dollars so um it is 
It's not expensive yet. Um, the console works great. For anyone who's actually wanting to buy one, I would recommend buy it now. I I might actually I might actually buy one soon because I want to snag that adapter soon. For anyone who's anyone who's young right now, who, who's growing up with the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One X X X X X sounds like a freaking porn site, but um, <laughs> um, I recommend go go play your GameCube. You had amazing <laughs> games on it. When I was watching E3, the announcement for all those games, I saw Lucky's Tales on Xbox. Amazing. I would have totally loved to play it on PC. If it eventually does come out on PC. That looked like a nice game. It seemed like a nicer version of... What was that? Conquer, con Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Exactly. A nicer version of him. I would have loved okay. to play that kid game. Okay, look at this link. My Back to the adapter, if you're interested. It is called the Eon. Eon. And it's the plug and play uh, adapter. And it's $150 um, for the adapter. It's a tad pricey. So, anyone watching, there it is. Um, it looks like the only real place to buy it from is eBay. It seems like that's all I see where it's selling. It, eBay. Mostly because websites creation nowadays is pretty expensive. Mm-hmm. Please. I don't feel like paying much. Um... Yeah. I might, I might buy it soon, I might pick it up soon because I want to be able to play my GameCube games in HD. And that's what I, um... If they made an affordable version of the a 720p version, that would also sell. It might even be 720 I just think because of the technology, it just costs that much because yeah. how bad it... It does beat buying the actual component cables, which are... $300, or $800. Oh, yeah, I seen those. Or you so, could also play it on your Wii. If you yes. Had one. And the Wii has an HDMI adapter, so that also helps. It makes it easier. But I recommend for anyone to look the at the Eon. The Eon makes it look even better than what the Wii can do. That's what's crazy about it. I've seen some. I've seen some stuff. These are trustworthy fans. Um, My coin. <laughs> Let me see if I can find an image. Yeah, Mario. But no life. Um. Um. Harrison. That's the thing. The, they create all these things, but. Yeah, I know there's a huge fan base for GameCube. There's no doubt. But there were so many good games on it. Wind I Waker, the Pokemon games, uh, Smash, hey, uh, like, um, Double Dash. Su Super Mario Sunshine. They had some good. They had Sonic Adventure, which ended up yeah. being multi-platform later. But and then um. They have games like Baked in Kaitos, there's two of them, that's a really fun RPG. Uh, Wario Land, there's a Wario Land on GameCube. Um, oh, really good collection? titles. <laughs> there is a Zelda collection. Yeah. Final Fantasy. Yes, Beyblade. Eh. Eh. Did you play it? Uh, is it barely. good? Is it bad? Uh, the versus is actually pretty cool. I do not know how to do any of the cool moves. Well, but... you just gotta learn. Just gotta... I don't even know where I go for the story of the game. Everything what the... Custom, custom Robo. Custom Robo. 
custom custom robo. robo. That I'm is bad. one of that is one of my favorite GameCube games. Speaking of these games we've been talking about the whole time, that game even reminds me of these. It reminds me of these games. So I recommend Custom Robo. Custom Robo. Is it that from the Silver looking robot? That guy in Amiibo recently? No, that isn't it. I don't know what I'm Custom Robo hasn't been brought up since the yes. I've seen people talk about it, it's just do not know how he looks like. There's not even a specific one you collect robots in that game. It's like Pokemon with robots. Um, I would even know because another franchise I'm very big of is Digimon, but until recently for the PlayStation, that's when their games have been good and better. Good. Um, I guess their fighting games was, were uh, were actually pretty cool, but their story main driven games actually looked like uh, trash. Were they? I remember there you there was one there's one on GameCube. I don't know if it's any good though. I don't know if it is. Let's ask Google. Okay, Google. Digimon <sighs> games on the GameCube. I'm pretty sure there's one. Anyone who couldn't hear that, it's Digimon World on two, 2005 and Digimon Robo Arena 2. So, a fighting game. I sent you an image of the custom Robo box art. Just in case if you wanted to see like the robots and stuff and what the game looked like. Dang, oh, this turn, this that turn looks like looks game awesome. That, I, I, when it comes to anime, I'm a big fan of Gundam. So when things look like Gundam, I will play it. Except for Gundam also, versus. It's also four players, so that's a cool thing too. Battle I mode. I actually get it. It is a more pricier title for GameCube, but how the battles work in this game is you you start out on these cube launchers and the custom robots start in cubes and they launch in this arena and then you have to hurry um make your robo form really quick while your other guy the enemy's forming and you have this the 3D arena and you have these 3D battles where you're just attacking, jumping around, flying, shooting in the air and stuff like that. And custom rovers are little small little robots. Oh, okay. And it, and it has a really deep story, and I love custom rovers. Like how deep? It, like lore deep? Like who like, Flash's ooh, dad? Like flat Earth. Like the Earth is flat. Damn. They say the Earth is flat in that game. <laughs> That D. Uh, no. It's not flat. It is flat. It's on a spinning disc. Where it's not flat because it's a square. We're actually on a game board. We're all actually uh, pieces we're all actually, on a D and D. No, we're actually on a floating copy of Pokemon Coliseum, just spinning around. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, Groudon, your face is so huge. I can just see a pixel of it. Oh, there we go. There's Flo oh, off, everyone. He just killed me. We're Miller. coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back. Oh, there it goes. It goes. <laughs> I don't like even know anymore. Um, I don't know. Okay. 
It, it... We've discussed a lot. <laughs> oh, it is how long? Weekend. How much? How long have we been doing this? What's uh, the time at? Forty-nine, fifty minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Almost an hour. That's usually the length, or two hours long. <laughs> have you had two hour long ones? I think almost two hours long. Or, like, I split it into two, just because it was almost two hours. Uh, yeah, most... Um, so, do you have anything else you want to talk about now? Any other topics? Well... What else is, uh... Get more GameCube well, stuff? We've been talking about a lot about that they've console. They've been making a lot of the minis. Recently, it was the Super Nintendo Mini, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. When, I own when it. one would be 64, right? So, mm -hmm. the one after that would be GameCube? I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't believe there's gonna be a GameCube mini. Uh, I don't believe it. Or, what about... The, the hardware in a GameCube, that mini would be not a mini. It would probably be the size of an actual game. We could so, always dream. So, so it would be a GameCube GameCube. No, GameCube, GameCube version 2 4K version 2 4K GameCube where it's really wide yeah it would be so, uh, game except your small disc it would be this kind of disc even smaller even smaller yes. it's like no it takes cartridges now. you open up the disc tray and there's just an SD card slotted there you go so you just put it in but um um, Actually, the potential of that game would be nice. What what I think would be cool potential is GameCube games coming to a virtual console on Nintendo Switch because Nintendo has virtual console games on 3DS and Wii U. They were able to play like N64, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, NES, Game Boy, DS, Wii, everything, but no yeah. GameCube yet. No GameCube. So. The Switch could get GameCube, and that means you could take these games on the go, you anywhere. I think that'd be cool. That and means HD. I would have to own another game. System. That means, that means, yeah, you would have to own a Switch. Actually, actually, well, at least now I could record it, record it with the Elgato. You would. There's some good games on the Switch, like Zelda. Because the game I've been thinking about was Gundam Dynasty Warriors on Xbox. I have Gundam Dynasty Warriors on S3, which is a I bought it very, too. a very good game. You have it on Xbox, yes. don't you? Yes, it's such a good game for any Gundam fan. I recommend it. It's so good. Every hero from all the series, your variation, the hero, and the selection screen is. What was that? What was that? I don't, I don't like Gundam. I just bought the game because it looks okay. cool. <laughs> it's a good game though. For anyone starting, I would I would recommend watch Gundam Iron Blood Orphans, just because season two, the last episode. Orphans. Yes. You have to like adopt these guns. They're all orphans. They lost their parents in war. Um, they all become. Uh, they're all slaves or military personnel on Mars. Mars become became a colony, and became a planet where you could actually live in air everything. Last episode, it will hurt your feelings so bad. It will make you cry. It made millions cry. I've never cried to any anime. Oh, but when you... Your favorite character isn't safe in this one. Or, for anyone who's... But anyone else, Gundam 00. Two seasons, amazing. Including a movie that was amazing as well. Just saying. Any of those two series... Or Gundam Seed, any of those three would be good series to watch. Or if you want to watch like a meta, Gundam Build, uh, Gundam Build Fighters. It's nice. 
they're coming out with the third season and it kind of looks like a SAO ripoff but it's amazing I know nothing about Gundam besides what? Big Zam and Burning Finger he's talking about uh, gun uh, God Gundam bur in bur Japan. Burning Gun I'm talking about Burning Gundam knows his burning finger even though burning gundam is from uh gundam build fighters tribe uh it's called burning it's actually called God gundam they uh, it, it was so powerful that they just named it in japan god and uh, because over here we're a little bit more strict when it comes to religion so they changed the name i forgot what they changed it to i th but burning gundam I mean, just having a Gundam that just burst into flames in their hands was pretty cool. It's kind of like I've a Charmander. It. I've seen it. Uh, it is cool. But, it is very hey, cool. What about a... What kind of... Were there any Dragon Ball games on, this, on GameCube? Were they? There were three, I believe. Three! GameCube. Budokai 1, Budokai 2, and then this other Dragon Ball game. That's it. Nothing too great. Budokai 2 was good. I like Budokai 2. I own Budokai 1. Over in my room. Well. Oh yeah, I know you own that one. You own the yeah. collection and everything. But... Mm -hmm. Huh. I doubt they would remaster those for the Switch just because of fighters. Maybe. I don't know. Naruto is getting a remastered game collection that's coming out on Switch. The trilogy co game for Naruto Ninja Storm is coming out on Switch. Mm -hmm. That was confirmed. So that's good. But isn't there a for the Ninja Storm? I believe there's only four or five. <laughs> even though that just sounds like a Power Rangers. Even Ninja though Storm. Yeah, it's Power Rangers Ninja Storm. The series after it was Power Rangers Ninja Storm, Power Rangers Dino Thunder, Power Rangers SPD. STD. SPD, but yes, it does that sound like STD. Um, I don't like Power Rangers. Oh, I was just, I was Go just to the Power Rangers! Original one, but eh. I haven't seen it. Even though it, it was pretty good, I would say just watch the new movie that came out that was nice. Um, or... Have you seen the newest episode of Super? This boy here. Yes, wins. do you know his new form? Ultra Instinct Mastered. Super Saiyan Silver. Super Saiyan Silver. That's the name they have been giving him. But it's not, it's just Ultra Instinct Mastered. Complete Ultra Instinct. Um, uh, in Xenoverse 2, they added DLC, they added Jiren, and oh, yeah. Ultra, in Ultra I saw, Instinct I saw Mastered. I, I have it. Um, Still Ultra haven't played 2. Haven't even Ultra, played 1. Ultra Instinct, <clears throat> in the character select, it actually says Goku Ultra Instinct Mastered. <clears throat> And when you punch him, he literally just does this the whole time. You can't even punch him. He just does this so when you're punching you at him. Beat him. Um, you have to quickly teleport behind him and punch him. That is stupid. Uh, and when he dodges, it drains his stamina. So if you just force him to do that long enough, he'll just ran, run out of stamina and then you just like blast him. That's but what I like Raging Blast too. Just blow up the entire field. Now, I can go- my custom character in that game can go Super Saiyan Blue now. 
So I could turn blue, and then I just was like... Since Shh, when do they have blue as a transformation? They they just added it in this new DLC pack. Is it free? Yes, it's free with no. it. Don't well, the DLC the game. Pack, the game, the DLC pack isn't free, the Jiren one, but in this update, it added blue for free. And you have to be level 90 to get it. Well... Level 90. I guess... I eventually have to beat one. Um, for anyone, I mean, no, I'm not recording those games. For some reason, I can't record on OBS. I can't record any 3D ish game. Yeah, it's a little weird. OBS can be weird sometimes. So, no more just God a, Eater. Just get a switch and then record it on your Elgato. And or. Or get on your then PS. Then I can transfer my character. Well, who cares about that? Get to, get get it on PS4. It's like thirty dollars. Oh yeah. It's like thirty. It's literally like thirty bucks on PS4. So I actually did find an interesting game on PS4 that I might actually record. The story of the golden robot or something. Never heard of it. I sh uh. Let me look, see the official name. I don't remember. I saw it on GameStop. It seemed like a novel driven game. And actually, me and Frame are actually thinking of a. Uh, uh, because I was watching a live stream, uh, Game Theory. They were live streaming the, the game. Do you copy? And we were I thinking of doing a parody. Live action. Now we, I, I'm I'm buying the walkie-talkies. We got everything else, and we probably get some masks and get a few of our friends just to, just to uh, so one of them, two of them can beat the goat person. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna probably scream and I hit can't. someone. <laughs> uh, we need to figure out where to do it though. I, I would say your park, just because it has the tower. My park? Yeah. In the okay. large field. Oh yeah, you could stand on the large tower and see out to the field. Actually, I know a better park. I know a better park. I'll tell you about it later. Um, but that will be very exciting. I don't know when we'll be doing that, but it will be exciting. Let me see. Uh... Let me see if PS4 robot games will show up anything. Laser? Oh. The girl and the robot. Is that what it's called? Yes. Never heard of it. It just seemed like a nice artwork style it had. It's literally all... It seemed like a old fairy tale drawing. On, mm -hmm. on the cover. It seems like it doesn't have action, it's story driven. Kinda like the game, uh... Rhyme? Ream? I never played Rhyme. I've seen a little bit, but... Oh, it, it was free on P um, PS4 last month. I got it. I was, I didn't get it. I didn't, uh, get, I didn't, I didn't get the get other it. one either, I forgot. Knack. I didn't know if Knack. I wanted it. It was Knack. Knack? Nick Knack? Nick Knack. That's what the game was. It just it's a knickknack now. It's a paperweight. The game's known for being bad. So don't play it. Well, isn't there any obscure games you know in the PS4 that would be interesting to play? On PS4? Mm. Or an Xbox. That would be a nice nice touch. Really? Haven't seen many. Okay, I could, I could think one. of some underrated titles. Which one? Well, okay, so there's this collection pack. The, the collection pack isn't really what's underrated about the game, in my opinion. The game's underrated, in my opinion, because I don't really hear much about it. 
Um, but the games were released. One of them was on DS, and one of them was on 3DS. The pack is called The Notary Games, and it is from the Zero Escape Trilogy. And um, the first game it is called 999. Nine doors, nine persons, nine hours. And the next one is called, like, Zero Escape, I think, or something like that. No Exit or something weird. Um, I don't know. But that collection, those two games, I think, are very underrated. And the whole concept of the game is everyone was, like, knocked out. And they were all trapped in this area. And how the story moves, you have to go through these numbered rooms. And these numbered rooms are escape rooms. So you have to do an escape room to get out, find mystery things, unlock doors, and stuff like that. And there is seven endings to 999. I haven't played the third, the second game yet, but I've played 999, and I love the game. It's very good. Very interesting. It's made by Spike Chunksoft. You let me dong and Rampa if you've heard of it, of that. Uh, if you... I recommend if you see the nonary game on sale i got it when it was on sale you see it or you just see 999 on ds i recommend buying them i prefer the nonary game collection because it has full voice acting in the nonary games and the ds one does not have voice acting and i recommend it very much and there's this old guy that has the voice actor of that grandpa dude from Ben 10. Oh, yes. Uh, Grandpa Ben? Yeah, I think Ben. I was thinking Ben or Max. I don't know why. I think it's they're both... <laughs> um, Werewolf transformation in the background. I heard that. That kind of made me jump because I got <laughs> a little scared. I was like, where did that come from? Actually, talk uh, when you said Don and Rampa, I was actually watching a video. I, I they were saying that the V on V three wasn't for volume, whatever. It was standing for victory, and that they didn't want it. The third game connected to the first and second continuing the story because that's not why they. Yeah. Because they were going to release the animes, but uh, both Hope's uh, dark side and light side of the of the anime, so they could explain the story further, and also that South Korea banned the game. What, what game did they ban? South Korea. Uh, v- banned on Rock. I know what V three actually stands. They say that then it is dumb. I hate the end. They said it was for victory. What is it's it? It's not. You want to know? It spoils. Sure, whatever. <sighs> YOLO, I guess. Everyone that wants to play V3 or any Dog and Rampa game, you stop, uh, skip. You need to skip a little bit, because it's crazy. <laughs> V3 is not meaning victory, and it's not version or volume. It means the number. 53. Dong and Rampa 53, because this is the 53rd killing game. And this is all a TV show. None of it's real. The first game's not real, just actors. The second game's just actors. And all the way up to 53 is just actors. But that. <laughs> what about the anime? They literally. In the anime, they. Oh, die! There is no freaking Dragon Balls. There is no this is resurrection how it works. technique from Naruto. Everyone volunteers. Say, hey, I want to participate in. I want to volunteer to die. I want to volunteer to be in Don Yamapa, and I want to be an actor. They put them in. They br- they d- raise their memory, so they think they're actually in it. That's why. Do you know why? Because they show the clips of them volunteering in Dung Rampa V3, and the Ultimate Detective said, I want to be an Ultimate Detective in Dung Rampa 53. I think it'd be awesome to be the, a, a detective killing people. So That's what he said. They, they wanted to them. be in it. No, they wanted to be in no, it. No, no. I mean, they tricked us all with the name. V... 
saying they, it was for victory when the entire time it was V for the Roman numeral 5. Danganronpa 53. While you're at it, why wasn't it Danganronpa 66? 6. <laughs> um, in the game, they actually, a logo for it uh, popped up in it after they revealed wow. it in the game. So here, here, this is what it looks like after they reveal it in the class trial. Wow, you want to be a murderer as well? Not get accused by trial or anything, get killed by society and still live at the end? Join Danganronpa crew. You enjoy I just sent, it. I, I just sent it to you in Discord if you want to see what the logo, like, they're like, ah, it actually stands for 53, and then the screen showed and it changed to 53 instead of E3. Great. That ruins the anime, that ruins all the lore in it, that ruins everything. Even the whole organization they made after the first game escaped. Mm-hmm. Now, the killing games are real, the real people get killed. But when they found out, they're like, why would we put ourselves into this? This is so messed up. And it, the ending is trash. Why wouldn't it be trash? Is it but a TV show celebrity. But there's a plot twist. After all this, after you're filled with despair, that's just a TV show. <gasps> they mention that she might be lying. Seriously. So you don't. So you don't know what's real and what's not. It could be real. It could be fake. You have no idea. This is how it is. And this is why half the world hates Japan for their weird endings and hentai. But I like hentai. Let's keep that off script, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just uh, mark that on my script here. We're not actually friends, we're all, uh, I hired him, $50,000, you get it for free. You know, I got that Mr. Beast money. Um, sponsored by Quid. I am sweating. Quip? Isn't it Quid? I said Quid. Oh, it's not like it you said It can be Whip quip. as well, or something, I don't know. Quiplash. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to stream. Actually, yeah. playing it on streaming it on <laughs> Comic Con. That'd be cool. That would be cool. I still need to get my hotel for that. Actually, the tickets have been running out. Have they? Yes. Yes. The Can only ones left. For the full event or the hundred dollar ones? For full day? Or no? Full day event, yeah. It's a hundred now? Yeah, for the entire everything everything everything, it's three hundred and fifty and they completely sold out. Let me look this up right now. They're running out of tickets now? That's how big this event's getting? Well, there's so many people. I mean, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, for anyone uh, watching, I'm going to be trying to say all the names uh, for the ones that are actually, uh, actually an ad for it just showed up. Um, so, let me see. The voice of Mario is going to be there. I can't uh, wait. I, I want to meet him. Some guy from Star Trek, uh, Drax, um, Tim Curry, uh... A team four star. Um, let me see. I'm skipping all the writers, all that. I'm trying to keep the actors or somewhat. David. Something. I forgot. I know this guy. I've seen him in movies. David. Uh, McCle Ble 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 Sa uh, Sam Jones. Um, I don't know if I say David Jason Frank. Uh, the voice actor for some anime, uh, my favorite, also, uh, 
Steinsgate, um, Trina something for the English dub. Uh, can't wait to see Mario. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, I, have to, I, I really need to buy that ticket soon for the full event. Have you already bought it? Nope, not yet. I have a bonus coming up this paycheck on this Thursday, so that's when I'm going to buy it. I'm going to... And then the hotel is super expensive. That's that's why we, we we saw the prices for it. So we're going to the one down the street. The the one that looks like could be haunted, could have a murderer, could have bed bugs. But it looks old, so I'll, I'm not I'll take that. the demons. I'll take demons any day. Um Hey, when you've been watching an anime for a ton, <laughs> compare your demons to uh, to your religion towards anime. Pretty sure you're gonna be going towards anime. I mean, mm -hmm. they look pretty good. Uh, ton of people, uh, and some of the YouTubers uh, we see. Uh, J Animations, Odd Ones Out, some of their friends are going to be there this year too. They, 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 they saw, they said in a video, but they were there Saturday, the last day we were there. And they were in line, so we completely missed them because we were all inside. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Team 4 Star would be nice. Chris, if Chris Abbott, Sean Shemmel would come back, that would be cool as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, the sh the voice of Aaron and Mikasa and the voice of the general from Ghost in the Shell is going to be there. Oh, that's cool. The dub ones. And of course, my favorite uh, character from... Um, from uh, God Eater is gonna be there too, the voice actor for it. That's cool. Good. Yeah. Just. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot this is. Uh, I forgot this is a video camera. So. I had um, no idea what kind of face, but just meme it. Uh, when are we gonna play Roblox again? Any time. <laughs> you gotta right. play pizza, make a pizza tycoon or whatever the heck it's called. Oh, the one where we create the uh, <laughs> the totally not racist religion of the white people. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds racist. <laughs> Alrighty. We were all dressed up in white. Everything was white. There was three of us, and dang, we went so far off topic. Now we're on Roblox, and we started on Pokemon. Hey, is that the first time it happened? Well, this isn't a random podcast for nothing. Exactly. What are we t sitting at now? Uh, we are sitting at an hour and eighteen minutes. For anyone actually not wanting to watch our faces. And wanted to actually listen for it on like an actual podcast. This is for anyone who's actually saw this so far, all the way through. You can actually find this on SoundCloud. So first episode is there. Second episode, this one's gonna be there. So you can <laughs> watch it there. It's gonna be nice. You could just listen to it in your car. It's gonna be amazing. I will be posting more stuff there. Uh, uh, and I'm making more my uh, my channel consistent, consistently. I need to do that because doing. I don't know. Let me ask you: If I would play a game and eventually just review it at the end, put my own thoughts, like improvements they could have done on the game in the end, would would that be a good subject? 
I think that could be an entertaining type of series. Like, still have full Let's Plays on your channel, but play through games and share your opinions would be a cool little yeah. side thing to do for games you're playing on your own time. Yeah. Like, one of the games I really enjoyed that I see completed was uh, Shin Megami Tensei Apocalypse. I really liked the concept they had at the end. That no one... Your future is not set in stone. No one can control your control you and that you have the power to overcome it with the power of your phone and demons so remember that kids keep your smartphones in hand and always charged you'll know when the you can get that dumb in, uh, I was gonna say the dumb uh, the dumb summoning app the demon summoning app remember that so don't get the flip phones get your smartphones no iPhone X, don't get that. Pay like 15 bucks to get the world's smallest smartphone that actually works. That would be pretty cool. I mean, who wouldn't love to get an app to just summon stuff? You get some of your own demons. Not, not Pokemon, demons. Got it? Because Pokemon, yeah, d demons can talk. But Pokemon can't. And then you have to clean... <laughs> you have to clean after them. Actually, that sounds like more like Digimon. Yeah, it does. I don't know, I'm no Naruto fan, so I can't do none of the hands here. Yeah, he can do it. That I can hear you? No, I can't. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I can see it. It's muted up there on the screen. Uh, yeah, I know. I've been. Do I've been I know it's <laughs> muted. I was. I, I was just doing that on purpose. As I, I could tell. For anyone wondering what that face is in the background, that's a... That's a meme. That? Yes. Yeah, meme. I put... I propped it up because I thought it'd be funny. Uh... Yeah, I, I would actually like to, if you have, if you do get the first gen GameCube and start recording those, I would totally uh, watch the live stream. Of what the shiny hunting type yeah. stuff? Oh, that's what I want to do. Try to do a multi stream on a big one that's been rising on popularity Facebook Live. Mm, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Because it, it's been ton. <laughs> hey, try all three Tw uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Live. And, and then. My live cam, my free cams, or whatever. My freak. Cam girl site. Please. Hey, you get a free cam girl of just playing Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Yeah. The Coliseum with the shiny hunt. Because there's. Most of the things that I've been seeing everyone playing was Monster Hunter World and. Uh, what was the other one? I forgot. Fortnite, yeah, Fortnite. Fortnite. I I I don't really like survival shooters like those. I prefer just shooters, just shoot. That's why I really like uh, uh first first assault um. Complex from uh, first assault is first assault's dead. Yeah, it was dead from the end of the year. Actually, a game I would like to record is Maple Story because they have a crossover with Evangelion. I don't know what Evangelion yin yin is. So Evangelion is giant robots, and then you have a super annoying char uh, main character who cries all the time. Oh. That Every time I try to play Maple Story, I quit halfway through. 
I don't even remember how far I got. I think I beat my own... I think I conquered my land. I think it's Game boring in my opinion. It's just not something I can get into. I just like the crossovers they have. That's it. But for actual main story thing, uh, I don't think so. There, it's there okay. haven't been many RPGs that are actually fun. That more custom, like uh, World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Actually, make a Pokemon version of that. World of Warcraft Pokemon. <laughs> That would be interesting. I really Strategy. liked uh, Wildstar. Just too bad it was too long. Dumb, dumb. Too bad it was dumb. I yeah, hated we that. couldn't. We couldn't find each other. Eventually, yeah. I figured it out, but we didn't have enough gold coins. To yeah, you have other. to. You have to teleport to each other. It was stupid. What's that other big? Um. Open world game we played, Blade and Soul. Yes, Blade and Soul, the fan service one. It was amazing. Just, uh, just it took too long. impossible to get into servers. That that too. It has died down now. Um, I would like to play a game that is almost. Actually, I would like because I I play a lot of. Wizard World One just because it's funny, and I don't know, it's just it's funny to go against uh, against kids and just defeating them. Uh, yeah. If they actually had voice, even though they wouldn't do that, just because there's so many younger people, it would um, that would be funny just trolling them, roasting on them. Yeah, or you actually had to share the loot. You take what they want and don't give it back. <laughs> That, that actually isn't that in Final Fantasy you actually yeah. have to share the item and you actually have to do the the dungeons with a uh, actually be trustworthy I think in some of them something like that in the, more, more in the multiplayer ones more pe people that are more into those games would know more about it mm-hmm Dark Souls. There's another one that's coming Dark like that. Souls, Demon Souls. Blade and Souls. Oh, oh, uh, Bloodborne, right? It is in Bloodborne 2 coming out. I don't know. Eventually. I think it is. Oh wait, uh, Demon Soul is the game before Dark Souls. That mm -hmm. is official. Yeah, I forgot. It is official. Is it? I thought yeah. it, it wasn't officially, but... It is. It's made by the same people. Oh. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. I don't know. No, they said they were connected, just that they stopped production on it, so they created Dark Souls. So a, spi a spiritual successor towards the game. Mm-hmm. And now we have Battleborn, a PS PlayStation exclusive. And now with the P PlayStation 5 being announced, uh, it might come out then. Even though I have no idea what could be the big difference between a PS5 and a PS4 Pro. Would you know? No, I don't know what the differences are. Meaning. I haven't really did. I haven't did really any research in on them. I would say the PS5 would have true 4K, like the Xbox One X. Have that and scaling difference? Because the PS4 Pro isn't true 4K. The Xbox One X can go and can do true 4K. Hey, you buy the PS5, you get a free PlayStation VR with it. Because there's a difference between upscaled 4K and true 4K. And the Pro is upscaled 4K, and uh, the Xbox One X is true 4K. You can't be 
4K without the true end. So I guess they have true 4K TVs then? Yeah, they're just expensive. If you don't but, know, this guy actually has a 4K TV. Yeah, I do. It's worth it. I love it so much. It's amazing. More fun games on it. Huh, excuse me, I've been up for over 12 hours because I wake up at 3 o'clock for work. So I'm yawning a lot. I think this would be a perfect stop point just because it's almost 2 hours. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think it. we've talked the viewers ears off. Yeah, just because we've been talking for an hour 30 minutes. And that's already a lot, and we went off topic. A lot. But you know, it's good just to go off. Yeah. It was supposed to be Pokemon topics, but I don't know. I like talking about the other stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind going back and playing Roblox and doing all that. Even Playing though that we... one Pokemon one that we played like a... So uh, long you mean on. the one we actually thought it would actually be worth it. But then, like, you had the Shadow Lugia transformation, didn't you, in it? Yeah. And then all my progress restarted. I got mad. Oh, Stopped no, I, I thought you were talking about the one where... The one made in Unity? The one where we crossed the giant ocean? Oh, Pokemon 3D! Didn't you, did you upload that one? On YouTube, yeah? Actually, the file got corrupted. So, anyone wondering... Oh. So, in massive world RPGs, especially in Pokemon, you can't travel. Except with fly, and you can travel to specific locations. Just that. In this game... <laughs> he's talking to someone important. But, in this game... If you don't know about that, you're actually going to be traveling for a very long time to wherever you're going. So, we were, we were, we found an ocean, we were like, well, with hell, hell with it, let's cross it. Well, we let, yeah, let's just go in the water, let's see how long we get, take till we die, and then we sunk to the bar. And, and we, did we didn't die. die. We're actually immortal in the Pokemon universe. And we said, let's just walk. And we walked for like 30 minutes. And there was these huge gaps. And it, we kept going lower and lower. All of a sudden, it went up. And we found this island. And it had like level 70s on it. And we just got our butts whooped because we were like level 10. <laughs> yep. And, and then actually we actually played the game legit. We actually played the game legit and went to the next town. And they got our butts whooped by like Magnemites and stuff. Because it's actually... actually a Hard. Training. And then there was that. Thing? Remember there was that Mewtwo that was oh, flying the around. the Mewtwo guy. Yeah, he just came around and just killed everyone. Which? What was the other Pokemon game? The multiplayer one? Oh, uh, Pokemon MMO. Yes. When we were playing that game, I didn't know that you could only have that Mewtwo for only like one day, a certain amount of time. One person can have it for a certain amount of time. Only one. That sucks. Especially it does. because if you're new to the game and you're trying to make fun of other people and you don't know about that, you're the one getting made fun of. Yeah, the only like, point. Look. The only point of it, I think, now is just completing the Pokedex if you want to try to complete it. True. Mm hmm. But that was fun. A travel. We traveled across the land to who knows what island. Yeah, and it had like a level 70 star me that like water gunned me to death. <laughs> True. Not even. We didn't even find a legendary in that island or anything. We did. We did it. Remember the second town, like a ho flew over us. Yeah. You remember that? That was cool. Ran it didn't give it, us good then luck. Then I got killed by Mewtwo. Yeah, Mewtwo just showed up. Flew. He just slid. He just slid up and killed us and went away. Yeah. I still have it on my desktop. I see it. And what was cool was you could attack the a Pokemon and then you could run away without any. 
any backlash like they they wouldn't take your xp they wouldn't do anything wouldn't cancel the battle battle you would still be in battle but you could actually move around like an actual pokemon battle mm -hmm. even look even though it looks stupid nurse joy was glitched for me she was actually black um nothing wrong with that nothing wrong not racist here um <laughs> Uh, she was black because she was glitched on the screen uh, of the monitor that shows you the Pokemon that are being healed that were actually not correct because when I was healing in mine, I think I had Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur or who knows what was not working. It was showing Ivysaur when I had Bulbasaur and some other stuff. Yeah, but I think that's all for now. Uh, yeah. Th uh, guys, thank you all for watching. If you want to watch this early, this could be uploaded first onto SoundCloud, so watch it there. And But if you actually want to see all the images, if I do remember to edit those. Well, videos. you're telling him now in the video, so maybe uh, they'll... If I remember, if I remember, maybe not. That's probably not going to happen. Um... Watch it on YouTube.